Everything from the type of buildings we make to the materials we build them with are having a significant impact on the environment. In fact, the built world accounts for around 40% of all greenhouse gas emissions, so it has a fundamental role to play in helping us turn the tide. But it's not all doom and gloom. Some of the most exciting buildings being constructed today are good for the environment and good for us. So, as we enter a crucial new year in the fight against climate change, we're looking at five buildings that are changing the way we build for the better. Let's kick off in Shanghai, China's most populated city, where local company Langkwe Kiai Agriculture Development has been using cutting-edge tech to create a more efficient, sustainable form of farming. But not content to use tech to transform farming, they're also using it to create a pioneering new headquarters. 2023 will see LAD move into their new Shanghai HQ, billed as an energy-neutral, zero-emission, zero-water building. To achieve this the building is packed full of features to manage heat, ventilation, and water consumption. The front of the building faces a lake, which allows cool air to flow in through its open terraces. The roof slopes at a carefully designed angle, to prevent the summer sun from overheating while allowing the winter sun to warm. Rainwater is collected by the terraces and stored underneath the building for use in services, while the plants which line the terraces filter the air and provide shade. These features reduce the need for mechanical systems to provide services as the building does it automatically. That means it's using less energy than usual, in turn shrinking its carbon footprint. And it's not the only one of its kind to be doing that in China. Heading down the coast to Shenzhen, China's Silicon Valley, where skyscrapers used to be the order of the day, different forms of the building are now emerging. China's love affair with the high-rise seemingly came to an abrupt halt in 2022, when a nationwide ban stopped, almost anything over 500 meters was built. As you might guess, most skyscrapers aren't very sustainable, and the mega-tall ban seems to have ushered in a new wave of innovation. Opening later this year, the Weibang Tower in Shenzhen is changing some basic assumptions of what a tall building can be. Most tall buildings are sealed off by a curtain wall of glass, meaning all heating and ventilation inside the building has to be mechanically controlled. Now, that's a big deal as air conditioning a city in the sky uses huge amounts of energy and creates pollution from exhaust fumes. The solution architects at SOM came up with for the WeBank Tower was to create cutaways into each floor, mixing indoor and outdoor, allowing more daylight, and creating natural ventilation throughout the building. This approach has also reduced the amount of glazing needed on the exterior of the building by around half that of a similar curtain wall skyscraper. Now, headquarters for banks and tech, startups are all well and good for showcasing cutting-edge technology, but we're going to need to change the way we build at all levels to beat climate change. That's exactly what our next building is aiming to do. Taking advantage of a recent change in building codes, the Return to Form Tower in Denver is aiming to inspire a new generation of timber construction in the U.S. Timber is a great building material because it's renewable and stores carbon, which it captures from the atmosphere during photosynthesis. But for tall buildings, its use has been limited by skepticism over its structural durability and its resistance to fire. But following extensive research, a new provision, excitingly known as G147-21, has been passed in the U.S. It increases the allowable area of exposed timber ceilings from 20% to 100% in buildings up to 12 stories. That might sound like a strange humble brag, but it means buildings like Return to Form can be feasibly constructed en masse, without any complicated bureaucracy. That means buildings can use more timber to replace less sustainable materials like steel and concrete. Work starts on the tower later this year, and when it's completed will have 84 flats, a cafe, a lobby, and a gym, and with a bit of luck, we could be seeing many more buildings like this in the future. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe to Wonderful Stories, 
Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.